Welcome to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. Let's make guacamole. POV, I make the best guacamole. Stick around. I'm going to show you now. <laughs> All right, guys, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Michelle, you don't make the best guacamole, but really, I truly do. I'm gonna show you all my secrets. My guacamole is so good that even at Thanksgiving, when people come over, they're all like, Michelle, where's the guacamole? And I'm like, guys, it's Thanksgiving. Don't you want butternut squash soup? And they're like, no, we want the guacamole. So I'm gonna show you my secrets and how I make the best guacamole. All right, first of all, you need a pestle, and a mortar. You have to. This is what brings out the flavor. This set I actually got at Ikea. However, I do have it on my Amazon storefront. I was, I'll was leave the link because it might be easier for some of you guys to purchase it on Amazon than it is to get to Ikea. But let's get started. Let me show you what I do and how I do my guacamole. All right, let me grab my ingredients. And don't worry, guys, I'll have a list of the ingredients and a recipe down in the description box. So just kind of follow with what I'm doing. All right, so in my bowl here, I have jalapeno peppers, I have uh, tomatoes, red onion. All right, so, so I like to cut my red onion just in smaller pieces, place it in the mortar, and just kind of grind that down first. You just want to release the juices from the onion. All right. So now that I mashed down my onions, it's all nice and juicy. I put it in a bowl. So I'm gonna do everything separately. That's the only way to get it, to get the juices to really kind of separate on their own first. All right, next, I'm gonna do a garlic. That's one of my secrets. I know they don't normally suggest garlic in um, guacamole, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it really brings out the flavor. And it's just one garlic, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my, and just kind of mash it down. It's such a difference when you use the pestle just to, in the mortar. The mortar just really brings out the flavor of the ingredients. You, you can't get that with a fork or a spoon. Whatever I got in here, right inside of my bowl. Not so much garlic, we don't wanna make it garlicky. We're gonna do the jalapeno peppers. Ooh, my eyes are getting all watery from the onions. Now, it depends on if you like, like it hot and spicy. If you don't, remove the seeds, and that's what I'm doing. I normally just remove the seeds because not everybody likes their guacamole to be hot and spicy. Let me just do that. And jalapeno seeds are usually pretty easy to remove. Then I'm gonna dice that up. Not too fine, because it's going right into the mortar. All right, in it goes, and away we go. All right, our jalapeno peppers are going in. Now, we're gonna do the tomatoes. I'm just gonna do one tomato. Definitely, you want to remove the seeds of your tomatoes, guys. The seeds just, carry a lot of water, like this vein right in here, and it just makes your um, guacamole just a little bit too wet. I'm gonna get that into the bowl. And usually I squeeze uh, one whole lime, but let's see how much juice that actual lime gives. Come in. This is a very juicy lime. All right, guys, so we got the juice of that lime. Now for my avocados. This is a pretty avocado. But what's nice with making guacamole is that your um, avocados, you, you like firm avocados, but they don't have to be perfect because you're gonna mash them up anyway. So it's kind of nice sometimes when your avocados start to get, you know, the spots get a little black, get a little ripe, that's fine because it's gonna just make some really good um, guacamole. Like this one was in the refrigerator, as you could see, so it kind of got like a little brown. We're gonna scoop that one right in there too. Another good one. So I've been getting my um, 
avocados from Costco. And I'm telling you, it's been about a month now. And every week I go in and I'll buy like the, the large package. The, you could probably get about six avocados. And I tell you, every single one have been hidden. So I don't know. Costco must got the secret to really good avocados. Another good one. Another good one. Oh my goodness. All right. We got all of our avocados into the bowl. Now, let's mix everything up. So my order of operation is a little different for some people. I like to break up my um, avocados. You know, see what I'm kind of working with. I left them a little bit chunky, just a little bit chunky. I'm going to put this on the side, grab my cilantro. And the reason why I suggest leaving the cilantro for last, some people love cilantro and some people hate cilantro. So this is optional. You don't have to, you don't have to add cilantro. I'm gonna yeah. chop this up, fold it, and go right in. Chop it up, watch my fingers. I'm gonna throw it right in this mortar. Because again, remember what I said in the beginning? We wanna release the best juices from our vegetables. And just chopping it up, it's not gonna do that. So let's get that in there and let's just give it a good grind down. Again, I do things a little bit different. Now is when I like to add my salt. So I'm gonna add my salt to my mortar with my uh, cilantro. I just think the salt grinding with the cilantro, I don't know, it just gives it a, a better flavor. All right, bring my guacamole back and we're gonna add it right to our avocado guacamole mixture. All right, let's mix it all up. Mm. Ooh, you should smell this kitchen right now. It just smells so fresh, so fresh. And as you can see, you see the pieces. I like it chunky, but you know what? You guys, you have free will. You could do however you like. Let's taste it. Let's get in here and taste a little bit and see if it's salted enough. It's good. And you don't need a lot of salt because that lime juice, ooh, it really brings out the flavor. But another secret that I like to add, plus it adds a whole lot of nutrition, nutritional yeast. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit nutritional yeast in there, just a little bit. You don't have to put too much. Again, this is optional, you don't have to, but nutritional yeast has a lot of protein. Where avocados don't have a lot of protein, they do have a lot of fiber. So you know, I always like to add protein to everything and a nutritional yeast will give me that. All right guys, let me grab some chips. Now these are my favorite actually. I love this brand and I love these chips. Um, because it's just a couple of ingredients. They're not using any crazy kind of seed oils. They're using avocado oil, and it's made from cassava flour. So I really like these. We're gonna taste. It's tasting time. Okay. All right, guys. Ooh, look at that pile of beautifulness. That is pretty. Let's get just a little bit, all right? Because I still have to take pictures. I know I'm always saying that, right? All right, ready? Mm. I am telling you. I make the best guacamole, the freaking best guacamole. Now, let me give you guys a little tip. If you made it this far, if you made a lot of guacamole and you have some leftover, but you know how when you put it in a fridge, it gets like really like dull and gray and nasty looking? Take plastic wrap, put it in an airtight container. So put your guacamole in the airtight con container, take a piece of plastic wrap, tuck it in there, make sure it touches the top of the guacamole, and then seal it closed, airtight. It will stay green, bright green, and fresh looking for at least two days. That's it, guys. That's my guacamole. I hope you guys are gonna try it. You, you gotta tell me in the comments if you think your guacamole is better than mine. Thank you guys for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe, tap on the bell, and I'll see you next time for another quick and easy plant-based meal. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.